Hey, what's up, ladies? It's the relationship guru, Sid Pharrell. Now, I'm back again with another video just to give you ladies. Now, before I get into the video, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so that you're notified every single time I post. And if you are a woman that needs relationship advice, or you want to learn more about how to think like a man, or why men do the things they do, act the way they act, and think the way they think, that I encourage you to book a one-on-one -on -one session with me. Link is in the description below, and I can help you out personally, one-on-one, -on -one, with any questions, concerns, or anything you have regarding your dating life, or at least you're currently in general. And also, brand new on my website, if you want me to coach you every step of the way, step by step, throughout your dating or relationship process and journey, and you want me to become your personal dating coach long term, then I have a special program just for you. Link is in the description below, and I can help you out personally again, one-on-one, -on -one, with any questions, concerns, or anything you have regarding your dating life or relationship currently in general. And also, go pick up my brand new Girls Night card game. It's officially out. So if you're having a game night with your homegirls and you need something to do, then make sure you go pick up my Girls Night card game. It got a lot of fun questions and scenarios about love and relationships and everything all in between. So make sure you pick that up. Link's in the description below, okay? And then on this hand, we got my brand new ebook. It's called Oh, He's Toxic, period. And if you never want to be played, used, or manipulated by a man ever, ever, ever again in your life, then make sure you pick up the ebook right there because it's fire, okay? And again, link is in the description below, okay? So all that's out the way, and we're going to jump right to this video. And this video is titled, Beware of Dating Men That Do Not Have Any Money, Right? So beware of dating men that don't have no money, that's broke. The men that don't have no money and stuff like that. You have to beware sometimes of dealing with them or dating them because a lot of things come out of it, which I will explain all in this video. You know, the things that you need to watch out for when you are dating a man that may not be financially stable or may not have his basics or may not have his three basics together, right? And I'm getting to that later on in this video, right? So now let's just talk about a woman dating a man with no money because a lot of women that I've seen and I've heard and I've talked to, you know, they seem to run into or date men that may not be financially stable, may not have, you know, a significant amount of income coming in or even enough to support themselves a lot of times, you know, or maybe they lack the three basics, right? Now you ask me, see, what are the three basics? What are those, what are those things, right? So the three basics that every man should have and the three basics that if you if you a woman and you dating a man, he should have these three things or at least two out of the three. But you really want three out of the three, right? I really want you to really date men that really have three out of the three to just avoid all the things that I'm going to tell you later on, right? But the three things are a place of residence, a.k.a. his crib, a.k.a. a place where he can lay his head that got his name on it, not nobody else's name, don't nobody else live there, it's him, you know, unless he got kids or something, then that's fine, but it, it's him, you know, or somebody, you know, a family member or something, the situation, but it's his house, it's his house, you know what I'm saying, like, he lay there, it's his house, it ain't nobody else's house, he there, he paying the bills, right, so that's the first one, a place to stay, right, he needs his own crib, his own place, you know, for one, right? For two, the second basic thing, the second basic necessity that every man needs is a source of income, right? Because how you gonna pay for the house or the or the or the rent or the mortgage or the apartment or wherever you stay at, how he gonna stay there if he don't have no income? So he gonna need some type of income, aka a job or aka his own business or something like that, you know, some type of income, you know, he need to have some type of, some type of income that's taxable, right? You don't want him to be doing nothing that, that can get him in trouble, right? Preferably, you don't want to even deal with no man that's like that because you could get caught up in that too sometimes, right? Because if he's doing some stuff he shouldn't be doing and he going against the law, breaking the law, doing things he shouldn't be doing, and you get caught up with him, riding with him with some stuff, Hey, you know, hey, you know, it happens a lot of times. So just avoid all that. You know, you want a clean man. Make sure you get a clean man. You know, a lot of times with his money coming in, you, you want it as clean as possible. You want him to have his own business. You want him to have his own career or a job or some type of income to where he's bringing in money. Now, I know some men, they got to do what they got to do. You know, they got to hustle. They got to, you know, get money how they get money. I'm not going to knock that. You know what I'm saying? You know, they do what they do. You know what I'm saying? You know, when you're in the hood, you got to do what you do, you know, or maybe, you know, maybe 
maybe if, if the opportunities, maybe not, maybe if you're not even in the hood and opportunities or whatever, your environment or whatever ain't right or whatever, you know, sometimes it happens like that. But preferably, you always want a man to have a place to stay and some income to support his place to stay, right? And then also, the third basic thing that you want this man to have is transportation, aka a vehicle, aka a car, right? You want this man to have a car because the reason why you want this man to really have all three is because I'm going to tell you one thing. It's going to take all the slack off of you because let's just say this man don't have his own place to stay. Where, where he going to take you? You know, he may have a car, right? Let's say he got a car, but he stay at his mama house. So, you know, you got to go to his mama house every day or he got to always come over your house or maybe you might not even be in your own house, but he you don't even have nowhere to even go that he can even bring you to a spot where he can even, you know, have you in a in a private environment that's, you know, to himself, a safe place to bring you to. He don't even have a world to bring you into because he don't have his own place, right? Or, or if he don't have a car, guess who always picking him up? You, if this man don't have no car, you gonna be doing all the driving. You gonna be doing all the pulling up. You gonna be pulling up all the time. I gotta come get him. I gotta pick him. I, I gotta pick him up, drive him back and forth to work. I gotta do this, I gotta do this, you know? And then if he don't have no income to even support himself, how he gonna take care of you? If you want this man to be protector and provider, how he gonna take care of you, right? And then a lot of times, I'm gonna tell you something. A lot of times, a lot of times, a lot of men, how they feel, their finances are always tied up with their self-esteem a lot of times. Men's finances always equal up to their self-esteem sometimes, a lot of times, most times, more times than what you think. Because whatever is in a man's bank account a lot of times, that's what's going on in his head, right? Because if, you're, if your bank account low and you a man and, or you don't have it like that, you are in survival mode, right? Y'all don't even be realizing what survival mode is. He trying to make it. He trying to grind. He trying to get it. And, and really, really, that man should not even be dating seriously. I feel like if a man don't have his three basics together, right, his own place, a car, and a job, or some type of income, career, business, something, right, if he don't have none of that, then then he need to pay attention to getting that instead of dating. What you doing dating and you can't even support yourself? How are you going to support a woman and a family and you can't even support yourself, right? And that man need to get himself together first, I feel like every man, every man, you should not even be dating if you don't have no money. What, what you going to do? You can't take her out. He can't take you out. Y'all can't do nothing. You go, it, All the money is coming out of who pocket? Your pocket. Because you as a woman, you paying for everything. You got to pay for all the dates. You got to pay for all the gifts. You got to pay for all the trips. You got to pay for everything. You the one coming to get him. You the one going back and forth, driving your gas, your car. He can't do nothing for you, right? He not doing nothing for you. And it's exhausting. You may say, but Sid, you know, that's my man. I'm not tripping. You know, I got money as a woman. Maybe he ain't got it right now, whatever. Whatever. But it's inconvenience in you and you can't even get nothing back in return. It's an unequal deal. No matter how way you flip it, it's unequal. You're not even getting what you need. You know, this man can't even do for you a lot of times. He need to focus on himself and get himself to at least a stable point, at least a stable point to where he can support himself. And then he can start dating, right? That's just what I feel like just as a man, period, right? If you a man, you should not even be dating right now. If you don't have no money, what you gonna do? You can't take her out on no dates. You can't buy her nothing. You can't take her nowhere. Y'all can't do nothing, you know? What, what can y'all do but sit there and look at each other or just smash all the time? That's all y'all doing is smashing and having sex and that's it. And just laying up and chilling, like, and, and watching TV and whatever, you know? Rolling around in your car and stuff like that, like... He can't do nothing for you. So you gotta so you gotta do all the work, all the money coming out of your pocket. And then a lot of times, if this man do leave you, right? If this man leave you, guess what? You out of all your money. How many of y'all women right now have spent a whole bunch of money on a man? Where's that money now? Did you ever get that money back? A lot of women, they loan men money. A lot of money, they, women be loaning out loans. Women women are like, a lot of women, they be like an ATM, like a bet to their man. They be loaning out all types of loans to their man, but never getting a return on their loans. Never getting the money back. The man just, you know, thank you, baby. Thank you, baby. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm on hard times right now. Thank you. 
but he never get up on his feet a lot of times to even give you the money back. Or when he do get up on his feet, he still don't give you the money back. And he forget all about you, all about the fact that you was there the whole time, that you was holding it down, that you was paying for everything, that you was there. He forgot all about that. He forgot, oh, he got amnesia now. He don't know what's going on. He forgot all of a sudden who was there for him. Now that he up now. So that's another thing that you got to be careful of when a man is down and you helping him out and you trying to be there for him. And you trying to be supportive because you want to be that supportive woman and you want to you want to see his potential and all this potential stuff. OK, potential. Right. Sometimes when that man gets to a point where he got money or when he is financially stable, he forget all about you because he was just using you to come up. He was just using you to just to just feed off of. He was using you the whole time. He didn't give you no relationship. He didn't give you no commitment. He mistreated you. He abused you. He cheated on you. He lied to you. He disrespected you. He did all these things, cussed you out, called you out your name. He did all these things. And you was the one pouring all your money into him. You was the one driving back and forth, him to work, buying him food, buying him clothes, buying him what he needed because he ain't happy. You was the one, basically you was his mama. That's basically what you was. You was his mama. You was taking care of this grown man. And if he's a grown man, he need to get up off his butt and make something happen. You know what I'm saying? I understand like people fall on their times and their hard times and their hard times. I get it. Hard times happen. Life happens, right? But when life happens, you got to focus on what's important. What's important right now? Me getting myself together or me worried about running around with a whole bunch of women trying to date and I can't give nobody nothing. You know, what, what happens? What, you know, what, what if you get with this man? How he talking about, oh, I want to marry you. Oh baby, I can't wait to marry you. Oh baby, I just can't wait to marry you. We going to be together forever. I'm going to marry you. I'm going to propose to you, whatever, right? How he going to propose to you and he can't afford a ring? Hmm. How you going to afford a ring? Is it going to be a real ring or a fake ring? I don't know. Is it going to be a real ring? Can it be a real ring? I don't know. Because if it's fake, then maybe he can afford it, but not no real one, not no real diamond, you know? How is this man even going to be able to pay for a ring, right? He can't even afford to take, he can't even afford to even take care of himself. He can't even afford to even get around on his own, take care of himself on his own, feed himself. So how are you going to take care of you? You And he going to be dependent on you. You going to be running the relationship. You going to be the head of the household. You going to be the one protecting the providing. You know, you're going to be doing the one doing all the stuff. He can't never provide or put nothing back in, right? So a lot of times, again, you got to be careful about dating a man with potential because it's risky. Dating a man for his potential when he's down is very risky for a woman. I'm going to tell you right now because you never know how this man going to act when he up, right? Because, okay, it's, it's a lottery thing, right? It's a lottery because it's like you never know. It's risky, right? It's a gamble because when you are with this man and he down right now, it's a possibility that he could be the next big thing, right? He could be the next CEO, boss man, company of whatever, or or doing his own, you know, whatever, you know. And maybe, you know, you, you came up with him, you did pour into this man a lot of times, and then, and then you know, it, it paid off because, you know, you poured into him while he was down, and now he took care of you, you know, when he got up, you know, and now both of y'all are on top, right? And now both, and now you living with this man, and now both of y'all are on top because it's like, you know, I took care of you while you was down. Now he take care of you when he up, or at least that's what you think. That's how that's how you would think in your head how it would be, right? But a lot of women, I'm gonna tell you right now, I talk to women all day long, right? A lot of women they tell me about their situation, and they tell me, yeah, you know, Sid, I held it down for so long, Sid. You know, I was a great woman. I did everything for him. I cooked, I cleaned, I gave him everything, money, time, emotional support. I was there for him through thick and thin. I did all these things for him. I was a great woman for him. Everything a man could ever want, I was that, right? But but when he got to a certain point, you know, he started he started getting big headed. He started getting big headed because now he got confidence now. Because just like I said, a man's self esteem a lot of times is tied to his finances. So sometimes when a man, sometimes when a man is not financially stable, a lot of times he's not mentally stable. So a lot of times he just he's in this mindset where he's kind of depressed. You know, 
a lot of men that don't have money or a lot of men that, you know, may not have financial stability right now, you know, they're stressed out and there are a lot of times you're depressed as a man because you feel like you're less of a man because you don't feel like you should be where you want to be at, right? But if that's the case, he got to take care of where he at, right? He got to take care of that on his own and you as a woman, it's not your job to always save this man a lot of times. You got to understand that you trying to save this man, it's not your job to try to build a man up because a lot of times when you trying to build this man up, this man might leave you for the woman that he really want. Because now that he got money now, now that he popping now, now that he that guy on the scene, he that guy on the block, he that guy in the hood now, now he feeling himself now. And now the girls feeling him too. And now he feeling the girls even harder because they feeling him back. So now he feel like, oh, well, all these girls want me now. I got money now. I got a nice car. I got this big house. I'm on now, right? So you got to be careful about that because you could be holding that man down that whole time. And then all of a sudden he leave you when he get up or he forget all about you or he start disrespecting you because he got so big headed now. He feel like he above you. Sometimes it's not even about the other women. Sometimes he gets so big headed. He feel like he above you. He feel like you're below him, even though you was the one helping him out. He feel like, oh, well, I'm up now. He start mistreating you and putting you down, right? So sometimes that happens or sometimes his or sometimes his successful plans don't even fall through. Right? So you with this man and you thinking that, okay, he got potential. He may be working on something, whatever, you know, and you want him and, he, and, and you think it's going to work out, but it end up never working out. And you just, and you, and you still stay with a man that can't provide for you because he still stay in this, in this zone where he never make no money ever in his life. And he just don't make it. And he just unsuccessful. Then you gonna be taking care of a grown man. Do you want to take care of a grown man? No, you know because there's plenty of men that actually do have their three basics together, right? It's plenty of men that do have a car, a job, or some type of income, career, business, and it's men that have their own place to stay. You know all that, right? Is men that have all that. You just got to find them. The men that you picking, you you need to stop dating men that you got always got to pick up the slack. A lot of your a lot of your problems that come out of these men and the reason why you you don't even understand what happens in a man in survival mode. I'm going to tell you right now, when you're dating a broke man that ain't got no money, when you dating a man that ain't got no money, guess what? He's in survival mode, right? He is emotionally unavailable to you. Y'all women do not understand because a woman look at it like this. Sometimes women look at men like a project, right? Women look at men like a project sometimes. Women look at men like, okay, all I got to do is pick you up, dust you off, clean you up, and you're going to be good to go. You know, she you know, she may have she may have already been um fortunately in a spot where she's financially secure, right? But she's dating a man that's not. So she feel like, okay, let me bring you up. Let me boss you up. Let me clean you up. Let me let me help you out. Let me help you fill out some applications. Let me help you get your resume up. Let me help you fill out these letters of recommendation. Let me help you do this. Let me help you with your business. Let me help you with that. Let me help you put this together. Let me help you whatever. And you, you pouring into him, right? What you got to understand is you are not his mama. You keep pouring, pouring, pouring into this man. Or if he become unsuccessful and you always taking care of him, what is, what is that going to do for you? You know, you need to already have a man that's able to take care of you. Like I said, that man is unavailable emotionally. He too, he can't even focus on love right now because he's too busy being depressed and trying to figure himself out and trying to figure out what's going on, right? So he just focused on that. He not focused on you right now. That's why a lot of women, that's why a lot of women, when you date these men, because you feel like I'm financially stable, but he not, and I'm going to just help him out and that's okay. A lot of times what you don't realize, ladies, is even though that you're good, he's not good. And even though your nurturing side and your femininity just wants to be nurturing and wants to, you know, grow things because that's what that's what feminine energy does. Feminine energy grows things, multiplies things, make things better, make things bigger, better. You know, that's what that's what feminine energy does. So you're nurture, you're a nurturer by, by nature. You are a nurturer by nature, right? So you're a nurturer. So you nurture this man because you feel like I can build you up. I can grow you. And that's why a lot of women, they fall into that that making a man a project thing, right? But what you don't understand a lot of times is that that man is emotionally unavailable. He too busy. He's in survival mode. Survival mode is when I don't have a car, I don't have a job, or maybe he lost his job, or maybe, you know, he don't have no uh, place to stay, or, you know, one of those three, or, you know, he can't, he, he, he can't even feed himself, or he just need money, he borrowing money, stuff like that. He trying to figure himself out as a man. So a lot of times, 
if you were, if he's a man, he need to figure that out on his own a lot of times, right? Maybe you may be able to help him and it might work out in your favor, right? I'm not saying don't never, you know, I'm not saying that man can't never come up and I'm not saying that don't never date a man that's broke, but you got to be careful about dating men that don't have no money because you always going to have to take care of everything. You going to have to take care of everything and it's always a gamble because he may or may not be successful. He may or may not even when he does get successful, still be with you. Because even when he gets successful, he might dump you off to the side because he was a placeholder the whole time during the time of his life. And now and now that he got the money that he want, now he can get the woman that he want. And the woman that he want wasn't you. He was only dating you cause, just because you was the only woman that was available for him at the time, at the time of his life when he didn't have no money. He couldn't afford the woman that he want. Now he can afford the woman that he want now, you know? So a lot of times men think like that, right? Because because he was emotionally unavailable. He could not give you what you need. And a lot of men, they'll tell you straight up, they'll tell you, hey, I can't do this. I can't give you nothing. I have nothing to offer you. I'm trying to find myself. And a lot of times you you understand you don't understand why he's so distant from you. This man's so distant, right? When a man don't have no money or he's or he's having financial troubles or he's not financially stable, he's kind of distant to himself because he's trying to focus himself. He's trying to focus on what's 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 right, and he's trying to focus on what's important. And he know that he can't. He subconsciously know that he can't deal with you, right? He know he can't deal with you because he don't have the resources to be able to support you, right? Subconsciously, but at the same time, biologically, he still wants you to, you know, be around you and you know smash and build a relationship with you. At the same time, maybe maybe not, but. With the relationship part, but he definitely want to smash you, you know? So it's like, he still want to keep you around, but he know he can't provide for you. So that's why he kind of string you along, right? That's the whole reason why men that don't have no money, he'll string you along because he just wants somebody by his side, you know, just, just to be there while he going through what he going through. And he's using you, you don't even realize it sometimes, but he's using you for emotional support. A lot of times this man is just using you. He really don't even want you. He really don't even like you. He really don't even really want nothing serious with you. He's telling you these things to reel you in because he don't have no money right now. And he need to keep you around and keep you happy, right? And, and keep you hoping and wishing. But, you know, a lot of times, but a lot of times it don't work out in your favor. A lot of times he might leave you. You know, he might break up with you or even if it just fall off. What if he what if he never get to reach his full potential or what if he just break up with you tomorrow? Now you just spend all your money on him, investing everything into him, filling out all his applications for him. And guess what? He dumped you the next day. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for filling out this job application. Thank you for this. Thank you for this thousand dollars that you gave me. Two thousand, three thousand, five thousand dollars you gave me. Thank you so much. Thank you for buying me this. Thank you for buying me that. You know, thank you for buying me all these shoes and all this food. He's using you a lot of times. And what you don't even realize is that a lot of times he's just using you, right? Because he know he can't offer you nothing. And then let me tell you something else. Let me tell you one more thing that y'all need to know about men that don't have no money or men that are broke or men that are in survival mode, right? Let's talk about men that are in survival mode. Men that are in survival mode a lot of times when they do date a woman, right? And let's say you're a woman that, let's say you got money. Let's say you're a woman, let's say you got money. Let's say you're a woman, you got your own business, you got your own job, your own career, whatever you're doing, you making money, right? Whatever you're doing, you making your own money. You can support yourself, right? That broke man that you with, that don't have no money, that you dating right now, a lot of times, you what you don't realize is that one, he's already insecure right now as a man because he feel like I don't have my finances together as a man right now. So I'm less of a man because I'm not where I want to be at. That's what you hear a man say all the time. I'm not where I want to be at, right? I'm not where I want to be at. It's confidence and like I said, his self-esteem, y'all got to really hear me. A man's finances are directly tied to his self-esteem. A man's finances are always a lot of times tied, directly tied to his self-esteem. So if a man don't have no money in his bank account, his self-esteem is really low, right? About himself. His self-esteem about himself as a man, because he feel like I'm not, I'm, a man is supposed to have the basics, the three basics at least, stable. The man is supposed to at least have stable. And he know he's supposed to have the basics. That's why he feel insecure and that's why he get depressed and that's why he gets so moody and so upset and he's so distant and he's so emotionally unavailable because he know he's supposed to be 
better than what he's doing right now. He know it. He know that he's supposed to be doing where he, but he's, he's not where he's supposed to be at. He tell you all the time. He tell you, I'm not where I'm supposed to be at. He know that he don't have his basics. He know that he's not where he want to be. Or even if he do have his basics, let's just say he do have all three basics. Even if he do have all three basics, he may still be not where he want to be yet to himself, right? That still may be. He may still have, he may have money. He may be supporting himself, but he not where he want to really be yet. He know he got better, more potential to, to do. And he can't be emotionally available to you because he tied in with his business or his career. So he's married to his career and not married to you, right? He's so involved in his career and maybe he is doing Doing well for himself and stuff like that but guess what he's so involved in that that he don't even have time for you that's why he can't even give you the love and the attention that you be wanting because he worried about that or he worried about not having no money right he may be worried about not having no money so he can't tend to you right so that's the first thing he's already he's already feeling like i'm less of a man and my self-esteem is low because i don't have no money already to himself right that's the first one now the second one is when you a woman and you got your own money like i said you got your own money you got your own money coming in and you got money blah 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 and you with him he's looking at you that man is directly looking at you like dang my girl got more money than me i'm even more or less of a man i was already felt like i'm less of a man because i don't have my three basics or i feel like i'm less of a man because i'm not where i want to be at period right and now i feel even less of a man even less of a man because my girl making more money than me what do i look like my girl making more money than me I'm, we riding around in my girl car. It got a furry steering wheel. I'm riding around in a Nissan Altima with a with a furry steering wheel. You know the steering wheel furry got all the fur on it, or it's bedazzled out. You know how y'all got. You know how y'all girls got the bedazzled out steering wheel and stuff like that. You got that Nissan Altima right now with that bedazzled with that bedazzled steering wheel, and he driving it or that furry steering wheel, and, and he driving it looking like dang, I'm in my girl car, pink license plate on the back. You know, with the pink license plate or the bedazzled license plate on the back, you know? So he over here like, so he riding around in your car and he even feel like he even less of a man because my girl doing everything for me, right? Or he feel like he less of a man at the same time and then he's still using you to come up off of you. So you don't even realize it, but he's using you, right? Anyways, when he feel less and less and less of a man, now that you got more money than him, now he feel like, okay, I already not where I want to be yet. And my girl got more money than me. Now when he get to the relationship part with you, he already at a disadvantage. He already feel like I'm at a disadvantage because I don't feel like a man and my girl make more money than me. So I feel like this man, his mind, this man feel like you think that he's less of a man that's what this man thinks this man feel like okay i don't have no money this girl got more money than me my girl she got more money than me or this girl i'm dating she got more money than me she probably look at me like i'm a bum she probably look at me like i ain't got no money she probably look at me like whatever i don't i don't even know why she dealing with me i don't even know why she would even talk to a man like me i'm not even where i want to be at i don't even want i'm not even secure within myself so why is she even trying to be with me so he don't feel like he even deserve you in the first first place because he feel like he's less of a man from the jump right and then when he compare himself to you when this man start comparing himself to you or maybe this man might compare himself to your exes right because let's just say you're a woman let's just say you're a woman and you got exes right all your exes was basketball players brain surgeons astronauts firefighters all kinds of stuff you know what i'm saying you had you had all kinds of people you know, you had rappers, you had singers, you had you had men that were lawyers, you had men that were that were doctors, you had men that were all these different types of professions, all these high value men. You was a woman you used to date all high all high value men, right? But then once he found out about your exes, now he feel even more insecure because now he really like why why would you even talk to me and i ain't got no money right and you may say oh but 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 said you know the reason why i talk to him is because i really like him right the reason why i talk to him is because you know i don't care about his money his money don't bother me i'm not a woman that care about what a man got in his wallet you know i don't care about that i care about him for him right but this man's perception not your perception you got to understand this man perception he view you that he think that you view him like he less of a man he think that you think that he is less of a man even though you may not think that he is less of a man he still think that you think that you that he's less of a man
that he's less of a man. That's what he think, right? Because of this perception. He looking at you like, this girl probably think that I'm a bum. I don't even know why she even with me. Dang, you know? Then he starts self-sabotaging the relationship. He start getting into it. That's when you see this back and forth. He always trying to get the power in the relationship because it's like, it's kind of like little man syndrome. Y'all know what little man syndrome is? Like when a man is like, a little man syndrome is like when a man is like really, really, really short or like really, really small or tiny and then he, and, or sometimes like he don't necessarily feel like he's less of a man. So he has to like assort his authority and, and go crazy and throw temper tantrums and beat on his chest and stuff like that just to feel like he a man and really stand up and yeah, I'm a man, I'm a man, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and really trying to, you know, scare somebody, really trying to be intimidating because he already feel like he's less of a man because he's smaller or he feel weaker or he may be a little smaller, weaker man, shorter man, whatever. And he don't feel like he, he don't feel like a man. So he got to show everything everybody that he's a man right that's the exact same way how a lot of men they have little man syndrome aka no money syndrome which no money syndrome is like oh let me get the power since i since i don't feel like i got the power financially and i don't feel like a man financially let me get the power other ways let me tell her what to do let me talk to her crazy let me put her down let me let me let me feed off of her. Yeah, let me let me assort my authority. Let me cuss her out. Let me go back and forth with her. You know, he always trying to start fights with you. Always trying to start things with you. You know, he you know he's very narcissistic a lot of times. You know, he's very just self centered, selfish. You know, it's always about him. He always points the finger at you. He always trying to put you down. And the reason why he's trying to put you down is because he's like, okay. I gotta keep telling this woman that she's that she's not all that pretty. Or oh, why why are you wearing that? Uh, or or why your little business? You shouldn't be doing that. Or why are you in school? Why are you going to school doing that? Why are you doing that? Why are you look like that? Why you come out the house looking like that? When he just hating on you, this man trying to bring you down along with him because misery love company, right? Misery love company. So this man already feel like I'm already less of a man down here financially compared to you because you got more money than me you as a woman you got more money than me so i already feel like i'm financially not equal with you right so let me so let me break you down mentally if i can't break you down financially i'm gonna break you down mentally so now even though you making more money than me you still know that i'm the man in the relationship right even if you may naturally even if you may naturally you know let the man lead or whatever you may be a woman that just you know you allow the man to lead but he want to take control anyway because he don't feel like he's a leader. He don't feel like he's in control. So he going to take control. He's going to try to drag you through the mud to try to beat on his chest and stuff like that or put his hands on you. And that's why a lot of men, they put their hands on you or stuff like that because reasons why is because they don't feel like they a man. They don't have no money. They broke. They insecure. They got insecurities. They got childhood traumas. They got daddy, they got daddy issues, they got abandonment issues, attachment issues, they got so much stuff going on. That's the reason why, because they always throwing a temper tantrum. That's the thing. He feel like he's such less of a man, and he feels so weak and insecure as a man. He got to be on his chest, and he got to throw a temper tantrum because he feel like he broke. He feel like he ain't got no money. He feel like he's less of a man, right? Or he just insecure about whatever, just insecurities. Because like I said, a man's finances are always directly tied to his self-esteem, like I always say, right? So you as a woman, a lot of times, you just got to be careful about dating a man that, you know, like I said, you know, he you could be dating him and he could, you know, be the next big thing and he could pop and he could take you with him, right? But a lot of times, you don't never get that to that point. A lot of times, he going to dump you or he going to just use you or he going to have, you know, little man syndrome, little money syndrome and be mad that you make more money than him or mad that your exes were better than him or made more money than him. And he always feel like he's... He's, he's never he's never emotionally available to you because he's just focused on what he got going on. And that's why he depressed a lot of times because he's insecure because his finances are directly tied to his to his self-esteem as a man. So if you don't want to pick up the extra slack a lot of times, I'm not saying you can't never date a man that don't got no money because I understand a man's situation. I understand it because like I'm telling you, I'm, I'm telling you from a man. So I already know how it go, right? I already know how it go. But but it's a time and a place for everything. When you, when you trying to find yourself and you trying to get yourself together as a man, you don't have time to be running around with girls you should not even be dating if you a man you ain't got yourself together you don't have time to be dating you need to be getting yourself together right and then when you get yourself together now you can bring the girl into your world how are you gonna bring her into your world and you ain't got no house 
How you gonna even bring her over if you ain't got no car? How you gonna even pay for anything? A wedding ring one day. You trying to throw this big wedding in a wedding ring and I'm gonna buy you a house and he gonna buy you all this stuff and he gonna do all this stuff for you, but he ain't got no money right now to do it. Or he ain't even working. A lot of times, I'm gonna just be real with y'all. A lot of times y'all dating lazy men. A lot of men that y'all be dealing with be lazy. A lot of these men, they be real lazy. They don't be want to do nothing. They don't be want to work. They don't be want to do nothing. They just want to sit around, play the video game, smoke all day, drink all day, chill, relax, you know, hang out with the boys, with the fellas, with the guys. You know, it's just always party, party, party. They don't have time for you. He's so busy trying to focus on himself or maybe he just lazy. Like I said, he may just be lazy. Like he don't want to work. He don't want to do nothing. He just want to sit and just bum off of you. He just using you. And he and a lot of times what you don't realize, ladies, is you are enabling him. You enable men a lot of times. You enabling him. How is he going to reach his full potential if you, if you spoon feeding him every day? You spoon feeding him. You feeding him. You feeding him. How is he going to be able to pick up his own spoon and feed himself if you always feeding him you always feeding him like a little baby you feeding him feeding him feeding him but he can't never feed himself when is he gonna pick up the fork for himself as a man and say let me grab this fork and let me feed myself and then when i can feed myself now he can feed you instead of you feeding him see the problem is a lot of your problems that you deal with come from men that can't even give you what you want because if you are a woman and you want a certain standard and you hold a certain standard, you should only date men on a certain standard. Because when you go below your standards, you always be mad at the fact that you're not getting what you're putting out. A lot of women, they always get mad. They always like, but they always come to me and say, Sid, I'm doing so much for this man. I'm cooking, I'm cleaning, I'm buying this man everything. And he never do nothing for me, right? He never spend no money on me. He never take me nowhere. He never do nothing, right? That's because he can't, because he ain't got no money, right? Or he don't want to, or or he lazy, or whatever, right? Or time just ain't right, or he in survival mode, or, you know, life just happened, and stuff like that, right? But either way it go, he focused on that, and he's emotionally unavailable to give you what you need emotionally, and he's financially unavailable because he ain't got no money. So he's emotionally unavailable, and financially unavailable. That's two That's two no-nos, right? If a man is emotionally unavailable for you, if, he, if a man is emotionally unavailable for you, meaning that he can't tend to your needs, he can't be affectionate, he can't be loving, he can't be empathetic, sympathetic, he can't take your feelings into consideration, he can't love on you, can't care for you, can't, can't really, you know, be emotionally in tune with you because his mind is going everywhere crazy because he's depressed about him not having no money, right? So he's emotionally unavailable and then he's financially unavailable which if he's financially unavailable then guess who gonna be paying for everything ding 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 you 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 gonna be paying for everything you're gonna be riding around in your car it's always gonna be you 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 coming out your wallet your purse your clutch you know for him all the time you coming out your purse for him all the time but he can't do the same for you right and you can't never get nothing about him, right? But you're going to be his mama and you're going to take care of him and enable him as a man. And he can't never get up off his feet as a man because he gets so used to you doing everything for him. You do everything for him. He can't never do nothing for himself, right? Or he can't do nothing for himself because he don't want to, right? And even if you do show him what to do or you tell him what to do, he still may not do it because guess what? You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink it, right? I can lead you to the source. I can lead you to the water. I got the horse. I'm going to lead the horse to the water, but it's up to the horse to drink the water. I can't drink it for you. I can't make you drink it. You got to drink the water on your own. I can show you the way. I can show you what you need to do all day long. But until that man want to do it for himself, he can't do it. He ain't going to do it, right? So you can show him. You can lead him the way, but you can lead him to the water. But if he don't want to drink the water, if he don't want to do or put an action behind what you're showing him, if you're trying to boss him up or you're trying to nurture him or you're trying to get him up off his feet, you're trying to make him be stable, if it's all up to that man to do it. And a lot of times he may or may not want to do it. If you want a man... If you want to date a man that's stable and date a man without all this extra stuff, without being emotionally unavailable or financially unavailable or in survival mode or a man that's depressed, a man that's insecure, a man that, you know, compares his finances to yours because you're above him and he don't have no money or he can't even stand next to you because he ain't even have no money to even compare to you, right? He even stand next to you with.
you know, so he feel like he's already less of a man and a lot of problems come out of that. So if you don't want to deal with that, then just date a man that has the three basics, a car, a job, and a crib, right? A car, job, and his own place to stay, right? Own income, his own income, own business, and a vehicle, right? You want him to have those three and you avoid so many problems. And guess what? Now that man can provide for you. Now he can bring you to his house. You know, when, when that man, he's financially stable, he can be emotionally available to you because he's not in survival mode. He may be in grind mode, but he can relax and he's at peace now. That man was not at peace when he ain't have no money because your self-esteem is tied to your finances, right? He can't be at peace because your self-esteem is tied to your finances. But when your bank account good, now you at peace and now you're able to date and be emotionally available and to kind of look around now and because you're not tunnel vision no more now you can look up and now you're, you're a better spirits now because your self-esteem is higher because you feel good as a man right and now he's able to take care of you now he can pour into you now he can buy you stuff you don't always have to buy him stuff he could buy you stuff he could take you out on dates he can spend money on you buy you whatever bag you want buy you whatever food whatever whatever you want whatever y'all want to do all the trips to Jamaica and to Cancun and whatever y'all want to go you know he can pay for stuff and you can sit back in your feminine energy and you can just allow him to do for you and now you're not the one chasing up after him he's the one chasing you because a lot of times when a man don't have no money guess who pouring into him guess who chasing him guess who seeing if he good guess who making sure he good but guess what who making sure you good? Nobody. Because he can't make sure you good because you too busy making sure he good. But he can't never pour back into you. So always be aware of dating a man that ain't got no money. Just date a man that got a stable job, a, a stable income, stable career, stable business, whatever. That got his own place and a car and you good and you ain't got to worry about all these problems, right? But, but I mean, if you do date a man that don't have no money or you do date a man that's in survival mode, just beware of these things. I'm not saying don't do it. You can do what you want to do. You know, it's whatever. I'm just giving you the information. At the end of the day, you're going to do what you want to do. You a grown woman. If you want to date a broke man, they, they are the broke man you want to date. They are the man in survival mode that's emotionally unavailable for you. I just told you that a man's finances are directly tied to his self-esteem. So if you don't believe that, if you don't believe me as a man, and it's coming from a man, and I've been there before, if you, if you, can't, if you can't listen to me, then hey, psh, you can date all the broke men that you want to date. But, hey, you know, I would advise any woman to at least date a man that got the three basics. A car, job, and his own place to stay, right? And that's it. So, ladies, I hope you enjoyed this video. That was beware of dating a man with no money or that's broke or that's or that's in survival mode, right? He's in survival mode. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell notification. And I'm out of here. So, to the next video.